Hi and welcome to this video about a very important topic, extra tempos. You might have seen that Black is always fighting for equalizing because he's simply a tempo down. But can we actually reverse this issue? So play a black opening with the white pieces, for example the Philidor or the Benoni or other openings like the Dragon in this case. And here I want to show you the game Iturisaga Bonelli against Matlakov. Iturisaga just won the Spanish championship, so a very strong Grandmaster rated 2600 and Maxim Matlakov rated 2670. Iturisaga had the white pieces, Matlakov the black pieces. And now let's start. White plays first c4, black plays e5, knight c3, knight to f6, knight f3, knight c6, and now d3. And this looks very much like a Sicilian with d6, but a tempo, white is of course a tempo up. So here black opts for a very typical move in the Sicilian, but colors reversed. So basically this is the d4 move if white is fighting this against the Sicilian, but here it's black. So d5 played, white takes on d5, knight takes d5, and now white plays g3. You might know that this structure here looks very much like a dragon Dragon Sicilian, but now colors reversed because usually black is playing g6 and d6 in the Sicilian dragon. And now let's see what black plays. So black plays bishop to c5. And if white would play against the dragon, bishop c4 is a normal move. Not very popular, but playable and played actually. So bishop to g2, or usually the bishop to g7 move. So castles, castles. And now usually moves like bishop to b6 would be normal if the colors were reverse, reversed, if we had the normal Sicilian. But here, Maxim Matlakov played a very interesting idea, which is very fashionable. And it seems that white is facing issues here. So first black plays the move h6. And now white played bishop to d2. And this is very interesting because what white might want to do is just exchange here and then play bishop to c3, solve the issue of the bad bishop because then it's hitting the e5 pawn. However, Matlakov had prepared something against this and this is knight to f6 and suddenly the knight cannot be exchanged anymore. And now white should play something typical like rook c1 or maybe queen c2, sorry. But in the game queen a4 was played and this move isn't that great although it looks like white is fighting for something. But let's see what happens. Rook e8 covering the e5 pawn a second time and now white plays a3. Black plays bishop to b6, a prophylactic move, and rook f to c1. And now black found a very interesting and nice move, and this is knight to d4. And now you can see that black is trying to exploit some weaknesses, while also this pawn is, of course, defended by the rook. So no worries about e5. And here white's task isn't that easy anymore and he should decide what he wants to play and black is already fighting for an advantage. So knight takes d4 was played and of course black captures with the e pawn and this looks like it's blocking the bishop but we will see what the idea is. Knight e4 was played and this is a very important moment. The weakness in this position is the e2 pawn. So black goes bishop to g4 and white goes bishop to a5. 
And now Maxim Matlakov found a very nice combination to open this bishop up and actually get an or utilize his advantage. Knight takes e4 is the first step, bishop takes e4. And now the question is what to do because bishop takes e2 isn't really clear because bishop takes b7. And the position is far from clear. So black thought, this pawn might be dangerous. This pawn on e2 is weak. So rook takes e7. Uh, sorry, rook takes e4. So now black is giving up a rook for a bishop. But what is the idea behind it? Well, let's see. d takes e4, bishop takes e2. And now we see this is a protected passed pawn. And it will be defended with c5 if necessary. So rook e1 played, bishop back to g4. Bishop takes b6, a takes b6. Now the queen is under attack, queen to c4. And now black just plays c5. And now black has a very dangerous protected passed pawn. And also this pawn might become a passed pawn if this pawn is gone, for example, by pushing the b pawn and trying to get through with the c pawn. So b3 was played, protective measures, queen to f6. And additionally, you can see that black might have ideas like this. Bishop f6, f3, queen g6, queen h5, and queen to h3, suddenly threatening checkmate on g2. However, this plan is far too slow because in worst case, white might just go queen to f1 and defend the weaknesses. But let's see what happened. White played f4. Then came rook to d8, so helping this pawn and bringing the rook into the game. Rook a2, and this is a crucial mistake. White should have played queen to d3. And here, black could still continue with move like b5, and taking the pawn is not possible because of d3 and this pawn is through. And even if white decided to give back the exchange, so a rook for the bishop, he would have far too many weaknesses. So white decided to play rook a2, then follow d3, rook to d2. Now the pawn is attacked twice, but only defended once. Bishop e6, and of course the queen cannot take on d3, neither can the rook, because the queen is under attack. So queen goes to b5 and now followed the very nice queen to c3. White is facing, facing great issues. Rook e e2, a last attempt, but after bishop h3, you see that this weakness on f1 is too great and king d2 was played, uh, king f2, sorry. And as you can see, this rook has not been taken because of the pin. And so what does black do here? Of course, just get rid of the pin with rook to d4. The rook is protected now. Black is ready to take on e2 and win material. And the position just collapses because this rook needs to be defended, but it cannot be defended without losing the other rook. Therefore, white decided to already resign here. So it took black just 27 moves to win against a reverse dragon where white was a was playing a black opening but was a tempo up logically so this is an, a very important topic because not every system is great and good black openings or defenses might be good when played by black 
but actually not so great when white plays them because if you play white you want to get an advantage or win but here white never had the chance to get anything from the opening as always i hope you like the video and the game if you want to support the channel feel free to leave a subscription see you bye